Yo, what is going on today, guys? It is Sam here, and today I'm doing a kind of bit, a bit of a follow-up video to my last video where I talked about like how to get good F or oh my gosh, I can't even speak. How to improve your FPS in Minecraft? Like the, seriously, where I talked about like monitor refresh rates and stuff like that. Um, I, I saw a lot of comments basically saying, "Yo, I love Sam. I love it when you talk about like tech stuff." Although I'm really not super super knowledgeable about tech stuff. I mean, I know the basics, and I, I'd say I know a little bit more than the basics, but. A lot of people liked when I talked about stuff relating to Minecraft and getting good frames, so I figured I would make a follow-up video to that today on uh, Mango MC, which is the server I'm going to be playing on today. Uh, be sure to check out the description for the IP and everything you need to get on the server. I am going to be recording on this server um, Thursdays at about 3 or 4 p.m. EST, and then... Wait, what's the other day? What am I? I'm blanking. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. And then, and then Monday. Okay. And then, and then Monday at three or four EST. But uh, if that does change, I'll leave a link down in the description. A link. Oh my gosh, Sam, you're an idiot. If that does change, I will leave a sentence, uh, words in the description telling you guys when to come on if you want to be in a video. Because I know I get in videos with a lot of you guys, but I also know there's a ton of you guys that don't actually get to be in my videos. So if you want the chance for that to happen, be sure to log on this server um, at the times listed in the description. You know what? I'm just going to listen in the description because I don't trust myself stuff right now but yeah i hope to see a lot of you guys there all right guys let's talk a little bit about minecraft and i'm just gonna talk as if you guys don't really know anything about pcs i know a lot of you older guys probably do know a lot about pcs and that's great um be sure to leave feedback down below there were a couple things that i could have elaborated on more in the last video that you guys helped me out in the comments with um again i don't really care so much if i'm right or wrong as long as people are actually learning the proper terminology and all that stuff so thank you guys uh for helping out those of you who did help out in the comments uh in the last video you guys rock i really appreciate it anyway let's talk pcs now if you have a mac not a lot of this is going to apply to you mostly because like you can't change anything on, on, on a mac like it's just like it's just a mac like it's not customizable um i'm talking about like a custom built pc and what i mean by custom built pc is like mine kind of built my own uh if you do want to buy a pc that is custom built that runs windows and you have a mac and you and you want to get more fps that's how you're going to want to do it uh, there are very few macs that come with uh with like dedicated graphics cards some of them do but games aren't really optimized that that well for them so if you want to be have a real gaming pc that you can do a lot of school work on and a lot of other stuff on then you're gonna want to get a custom built windows right so running minecraft uh, if you guys do not know minecraft is a more cpu based game which means core processor and i'm gonna start with the very very basics here uh your a, a custom built pc typically has a cpu a, a core processing unit and a gpu a dedicated graphics card or a, gra a, gra a graphical processing unit uh, it might be graphics or gra the same thing it doesn't really matter having a good gpu does matter quite a bit but also when it comes to minecraft you do want a good cpu for example, I have an i7 processor, which means I can utilize eight cores, and an i5 processor, which is way more standard, utilizes four cores. Now, the reasons why you'd wanna get an i7 over like an i5, for example, are render speeds, you render a lot faster, and it's just a more powerful processor due to its hyper-threading, which it basically has four cores like the i5, but there's hyper-threads in between the cores, which I don't know too much detail about, I just know it, ba it basically allows the cores to work together or something. Um, um, again, if you want to learn more about that, you can just look up hyper threading on an i7. But generally speaking, or not, not generally speaking, i7s are just better processors than i5s, and they're a lot more powerful. So if you really, really want to get a ton of frames in Minecraft and you're trying to get a good PC, I recommend that you get an i7, um, especially if you're going to be recording and rendering. Um, I would save up the extra, you know, hundred bucks for the i7 if you're looking to buy a custom built PC. And again, there's going to be a URL to a good custom built PC website called like iBuyPower is one of them um, i'm also gonna li link pc part picker um it's a that's how i put the parts together to my pc um it's a great website that kind of compares all the prices of a pc and parts and you can put your own pseudo build together uh, on the website it's a really good website i recommend you try it out if you know a decent amount about pc parts when it comes to minecraft you don't really need a very strong graphics card you really don't need a crazy one me i have a, a gtx 1080 which is kind of a beast uh, mostly because I'm playing games like Overwatch, Call of Duty, I'm playing like a lot of games that do demand quite a bit of processing power, and I'm also trying to stream and record those games, so it does take up a lot of prop power, um, and I do need that kind of power from a graphics card, but in other games, you know, like Minecraft, for example, you can run a several, several year old graphics card, have a pretty good CPU, and run the game just fine, and what, what I mean by running the game just fine is, you know, at least 120 FPS, uh, consistently. 
Sorry, guys. Somebody actually came down here while I was uh, while I was filming, filming that video, but uh, it also will help you record, right? You, you're gonna want a good CPU and GPU to clock, you know, that 120 plus FPS, especially if you have that 144 hertz monitor, like I spoke of in the previous video. Um, but if you want to record Minecraft and you're getting into YouTube and stuff, it'll help you just record at higher quality because you'll still see good frames while you're recording. It's very very hard to record if your game is very very choppy, and your your game and, and your recording might actually come out a little choppy as well if you're not clocking the frames that you need to be so I'd recommend you get at least an i5 processor um, an i7 if you can save up and afford it um, with a fairly new I'd say even you know 600 to 700 series or beyond that in terms of the GeForce graphics cards and I would not recommend getting an AMD processor or graphics card I would go with an Intel processor and an Nvidia um, graphics card I had an, uh, an AMD graphics card at one point uh, the the GeForce software and the GeForce shadow to play is just better in my opinion like it's just so much easier to use you know to be frank with you uh, Nvidia is just a better brand um, there's just way more benefits to getting an Nvidia card compared to an AMD card so I really recommend you guys get the Nvidia card instead of the uh, and when I say card that's a graphics card um, and Nvidia and if you guys don't know what Nvidia is it's N V I D I A just Google it I know I know you guys all probably do so I'm probably rambling on for a lot of you guys who don't need to worry about that stuff but if you do need to worry about that stuff uh, just be sure to check out everything in the description. I'm gonna try and help you guys out. I, I do love talking about these subjects. I do love talking about PCs with my viewers, and I love helping out my friends getting good PCs and you know helping you guys pick out parts and good stuff. So if you guys actually want help with that stuff, uh, I, I guess I'm open to doing more videos about it. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do more stuff with it. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today. Very, very basic stuff. I can follow up on this video and go into way more detail about uh, what you, what kind of stuff that you want to do. But I'm just going to give you guys the tools to research it on your own so you guys can start to figure this stuff out if you have not. Uh, but again, I'd recommend the i7, especially if you're, record if you're rendering and recording, definitely save up for the i7. The i7 is going to be much better than anything that you guys can buy or get. Uh, if you're not really going to do it too much, an i5 will suffice, but you will see a big difference in getting an i7 compared to anything else. So... Uh, I hope that helped again anything above like a 600 to 700 series uh, I you, you don't really need like a 1070 like a 1060 or any 60 series um, from the Nvidia would work out just fine but again if you can save up money when it comes to building a PC if it's if you need to save up for an extra month or two to get those better parts that are gonna last you a few years I definitely recommend doing that so thank you guys for watching that's gonna do it remember mango MC IP and everything you need is gonna be down in the description as well as the times and dates that I'm gonna be recording on the server uh, so if you want to be in one of my videos that's gonna be your chance and thank you guys for watching I'll see y'all later peace